And we come together here today for the marriage of Eduardo and Sheila. Eduardo and Sheila, may I introduce myself completely. My name is Vic Marino, your minister today. Absolutely my pleasure to preside over this ceremony for both of you. Now, Eduardo, Sheila, this is the time that you two have chosen to become husband and wife. And we all know it's a very memorable moment when your relationship grows into this bond of matrimony. I'm not only here to witness this, but to wish you two all the happiness in your future together. But I have two important questions I must ask before we get started. Sheila, Eduardo, have you both considered all of these obligations you are assuming when two lives are wed? Yes. Are you now ready to enter into this covenant of marriage? Yes. Yes. I want you to face each other, please. Continue holding her hand, Eduardo, as you are. Thank you very much. Now, Eduardo, Sheila, a few words about marriage. As we all know, in every pages of time, we've followed these hopes and dreams of the right of marriage. Because marriage, it is one of the eldest of human traditions. It is the joining of two people and two hearts. Please never forget, after this day, you are separated from all others. And it does take time to wed two people completely, even for the most well-matched. But also your marriage, it must be created. And it can only be created by both of you. We do know it requires honesty, communication, commitment. And that binds you to all of us. But please know this, a true wedlock is actually that long, long falling in love, as you're going to experience so much more of. And after those many years of you understanding each other and the wisdom you gain from this, you will be partners. You will be friends. You must respect each other, but above all, allow each other to be an individual. The individual that brought you both together here today. And your true intentions for each other not only reflect how you feel for each other at this moment, but Eduardo, Sheila, your once separate life stories will now be joined into this new life story. Your families, your friends, they'll all be joined together with you here as well. And as you create this new life story, please know it's the one you will share with all of us. The story of Eduardo and Sheila from this day forward. Now shall we have a small prayer, please? Heavenly Father, we ask for blessings upon your children, Eduardo and Sheila. And as all of God's people, we clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And over all these virtues, you gave us love, for which it binds them all together in harmony. Please, bless this marriage and give them a lifetime of true happiness. Amen. Amen. Now, Eduardo, Sheila... Marriage, we know, is that commitment in life that brings out the better in all of us, as it will for both of you. As I'm sure I know that you have, you care about each other more than yourselves, that true giving part of all relationships. But uh, what that does is it just creates the fullest life you can share together. But there is no written or spoken word that can express that enough. Only you two must experience that. And... These rings, they are the symbols of your lives joined together here today. They are in the form of that unbroken circle because there is no beginning or no end. You know, always and forever is what they represent. So may these rings remind you both of the vows that you exchange here today and let them be that symbol to all you've made this commitment to each other. Now, Eduardo, we start with you, sir. Can I have you approach the table? Please prepare the ring for Sheila. Now, Sheila, I want you to hold out your left hand for Eduardo. Brown green. Excuse me? He's... Oh, sorry. Yeah, just hold, hold on. Eduardo, I have a few words. I want you to look into the eyes of your bride. Listen closely. Eduardo, do you take Sheila to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward 
for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, now and always? I do. Repeat after me. I give you, Sheila, this ring. I give you, Sheila, this ring. As a pledge of my love. As a pledge of my love. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to honor these vows. I promise to honor these vows. Taken here today. Taken here today. With all my heart. With all my heart. Very nice. Place the ring on her finger. Very nice. Now, Sheila, you can, can you approach the table, prepare the ring for him, and you can set your bouquet right there on. Your left hand, Eduardo. Sheila, I want you to hold his hand in the same manner. Please look into the eyes of your groom. Listen closely. Sheila, do you take Eduardo to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, now and always? Yes, I do. Repeat after me. I give you, Eduardo, this ring. I give you, Eduardo, this ring. As a pledge of my love. As a pledge of my love. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to share my life with you. I promise to laugh and cry with you. I promise to laugh and cry with you. I promise to honor these vows. I promise to honor these vows. Taken here today. Taken here today. With all of my heart. With all my heart. Very nice place to ring on his finger. Yes. Continue holding hands, please, you two. I want you to take a moment for yourselves. But please know this, Eduardo, Sheila. You will now and always stand in this charm circle of life. You know, and these words spoken here today, they're not just words. It does take a very brave soul to stand before another and make the commitment of marriage. But for both of you to know on this day, this moment, you are choosing your partner in life. And to share it all side by side, those very good times and bad times, because that's what true matrimony is, sharing all those moments together. And yes, there is that day that all of us chooses that someone who could bring wholeness into our lives. Well, Sheila, Eduardo, may I say, it's my honor to be here on this day that you've chosen each other. Now you two, uh, my few words of advice. As I just spoke about, we all know in every marriage, you will share those many wonderful and unforgettable times. And you know, yes, there will be difficult times, but this love and support and hope that you commit to on this day, it will get you through those troubled times. So may I only ask you, please, listen very hard to each other. You know, and speak to each other always from your heart. But try your very, very best to never let anger speak for you. And I know when you leave here today, you are going to be so much stronger together to go out there and face all of those responsibilities that you still have ahead of you in your marriage and your life. So Eduardo, Sheila, my wish for you is that your lives do become all that you want them to be. May your dreams stay big and your worries stay small. That is my wish. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, Eduardo, Sheila, you have committed here on this day to love each other by the joining of hands and the making of these promises. You have sealed these promises with the giving and receiving of the rings. Wear them proud. And for all those todays and tomorrows you're going to share with each other, you must now tell all. We are husband and wife. Say those words from your heart, always, always. Therefore, it is my privilege by the power vested to me by the state of Nevada, but it's absolutely my pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. Eduardo, Sheila, please have a kiss. Very nice, you two. And I do have another small part of the ceremony, Sheila. I'll do that for a moment while I prepare these. And we have a rose ceremony. So I want each of you to take a rose, please and face one another once again. Now, Eduardo, Sheila, you now have what remains as the most honorable title which exists between a man and a woman, the title of husband and wife. So a single rose will be your first gift to each other as husband and wife. For the rose is considered a symbol of love, and a single red rose means one thing, I love you. So it's only appropriate that your first gift as husband and wife will be a single red rose. Now, may I have you two exchange your roses, please? Now, Eduardo, Sheila, once again, we know love brought you here today. But in every marriage, sometimes it's difficult to find those right words to say, I need you, or I'm hurting, or I'm sorry. If this happens to either of you, leave a single rose where the other can find it.
that rose will say what matters most and it will overpower all other words and things the rose will say I love you and the other must accept the rose even when words cannot be found because this love and hope that you've committed to on this day will always be there so once again Eduardo Sheila congratulations can I have you toast your roses please and have a have another kiss please